Hey, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. So I was just I was just seeing stuff on Facebook, and I was sending it to some friends, uh, you know, from from years past, like college and everything. And it's like you see somebody, you're like, oh my gosh, maybe that's somebody's, you know, parents or something, but they don't always have the same name. And so anyway, I got a got a scarf on. I don't know, it feels like it should be snowing here. I don't know why, but I'm putting a scarf on. I sometimes tie it around, sometimes I don't, I guess. I'm gonna put a jacket on and a hat. I guess I've been wanting to wear a hat lately, so I'm gonna put a hat on and a jacket. It's a lighter jacket, but I can wear it better in, indoors when I go indoors, so. And I'm basically just gonna like go around today, I guess. Kind of see what's gonna happen around. I don't know, I, I sorta, you know, with Christmas and everything, I sorta had groceries. I did that meat here, I've been eating a little bit of it, but I got those pasilla peppers that were so hot, it's just like sorta stops that desire to just like, um, you know, like cook, cook more food and stuff. So I do have a cooler here of just some stuff I can take, you know, for kind of a snack on the way or whatever. Uh, it's funny, I have two pairs of the same gloves, almost the same. One is loose and one is tight. I think I'm gonna take the tight gloves. Today. The tight gloves look a little nicer. The loose gloves, I just sort of keep as almost the same, but if I have to, you don't carry anything or they're gonna get dirty or something. The, the tight gloves just sometimes look a little bit better. So, I mean, you know, a little bit more like city type thing. Um, you know, I can, sh I'll put it on the wrong way. Anyway, I'll show you here. But the only problem is, you know, operating the phone, you know, trying to use the, you know, if you have an elect a button, like an electronic button on your keys or your car keys, never seems to work, so. But yeah, so here's, here's the tight gloves. They seem a little bit, you know, sort of city-wise. And then, and then I, you know, the, the, the loose gloves, I sort, of, I sort of have relegated, you know, to like yard work, but I don't really have any yard work because I don't have a, you know, home, excuse me, a home with a yard. But here you see it's a little bit looser, right? You got kind of the loose, looseness, right? And, and, you know, you got a little bit more travel in the hand but, you know, but the tight ones look a little bit more sort of, you know, like, you know, I don't know, you know, like city type, you know, shopping type thing. So I'm going to wear the tight gloves today. And sometimes I leave the loose ones in my car. You know, you think, oh, if I got to, you know, change a tire or do something. I know I don't do it that often, but I guess I did last year, this year, not last year. This year I changed a tire in my car. I had a flat tire or whatever, so. But sometimes you can't even use the gloves, you know? It's like you need, you gotta get the mask. And then I have this, this, um, this carry thing here that I used to be able to um, attach, but it, 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 it was impacted or whatever, so. Anyway, I'm just gonna go, out, and I'm gonna see if I can get this in my car. And then I don't really know where I'm gonna go today, but. I try to walk around. I know that, I think in downtown Portland, if I'm on live, the video automatically shuts off because I think downtown Portland has a rule or a law about, about live video. It just totally cuts out. So I know it's always a problem. Whenever I drive anywhere, this is like last summer and stuff, you know, it's like, uh, you know, I got the music on. So sometimes it's the music, sometimes it's the location, right? So anyhow, uh, I gotta take the glove off. Both gloves gotta come off now. And then uh, I'm gonna get one extra Kleenex and we'll just sort of head out. Let's sort of see what's going on. Ugh. There we go. We got that. Is it fixed? All right. I'm gonna hope I get this right. Sometimes you see people, you're like, is that a person? You know, do I know that person or whatever? You know, sometimes you can't really remember or get everything really confirmed. You know, it's sort of a problem. The same thing's gonna happen here. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try to take the stairs. And, uh. Ugh. 
because you go, I don't, I don't know what the deal is. You still get in the elevator and it still shuts down or whatever. Sometimes I still have trouble breathing with a mask up. Oh. And I don't know what the rule is about going down the staircase. Maybe the video cuts out anyway. Oh, my foot. Oh. Yeah, so I thought I was going to lose it there but it looks like I didn't. Right outside my building, gonna head to my car. See if I can get this set up in here. I may have to disconnect and reconnect the video stream here. Uh, we've had so much warm weather here, warm and, and, and raining weather. It looks like it's cleared up a little bit today. That makes me feel pretty good. I had this set up, but then the, the handle thing broke. And then I said, instead of throwing it away, why not just simply keep using it? So it may take me a minute here. I don't know if I can actually get this set up in the car. And sometimes you get so ready to like go walk around and stuff. By the time you get everything done, you're pretty much, you know, I'm pretty much tired by that time anyway. All right, so, all right, I got a viewer, that's good. All right, so, what I'm gonna try to do here, may not hold, am I still on? Okay, so we're gonna try to get a hold here. Oh, sorry. Okay, we're gonna try to get a hold here. <clears throat> there we go. All right. That's actually pretty good. So we got kind of a hold there. It'll shake a little bit, but I don't know if it's gonna. <sighs> so it may drop down. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna ho hopefully that'll hold there. We're just gonna go see what's going on. Tampa Bay is totally beating uh, Detroit right now. Oh, hold on. I gotta get this thing charged. Five hundred and seventy yards, man. That's a lot of yards. I wonder if it, I must be Tom Brady today. Well, 
that was one of the first times that you mentioned Jelani Tavai. He really attacked it there, and why it was so short. They ultimately get the first down to Tampa Bay, but one of the rare times he has he's, hasn't been met at the second level. He attacked it and almost was able to make the stop. 47 to 7. Evans, the outside right receiver. Motion from Tyler Johnson outside left, tight to the line. Gavis from under center, hand off to Vaughn. And he gets hit as soon as the ball hit his belly. Dropped at the 22, only eight of the goal. Contact there from Austin to Bryant. Yeah, a little bit of frustration here with the Lions. You kind of jawed with some of the Tampa Bay players. The officials quickly jump in. It's, it's frustrating. You know, to, to lose a game like this at, at home, there, that's a frustrating group out there right now. Offense doesn't have a touchdown. It was a punt return of 74 yards by Jamal Agnew. The only points for Detroit today. And the Bucs saw Tom Brady carve him up in the first half. He has not been on the field with a helmet on in the second. Gabbard out of the gun. And moving on the far side. This is later the play dead as Gabbard launched into a throw caught by Evans. That's Austin Bryant. on the crack on the defense, number 94. Five-yard penalty. Second down. So Ryan called for the penalty. And remember, the Lions are handicapped by so many issues. They lost their head coach, NG, after firing after the large loss to Houston on Thanksgiving. And then due to COVID protocols, down their interim head coach, who's also their play caller, the defensive coordinator, down five total major coaches, D-line, DB, and linebacker coach, all out today. And decimated with different poker starting corners that we mentioned earlier. I mean, this team has been an uphill battle all year long for, for Detroit. Second and four, and a throw to the far right to Antonio Brown. Clean missed by Gabbard. Brown well beyond the stick. Was open with separation, but he whistled it well wide. Third and four, incomplete. Third missed throw by Gabbard. Those you got to hit. Those got to be no brainers where it's 100% on uh, those particular throws. So Gabbard's now 6 of 12. Remember, he came into the game after the challenge that overturned a ruling on the field and gave a fumble recovery campaign and connected immediately on the touchdown pass. Bunch trips right, empty. And moving on the far side, Gabbard steps up. He's going to get knocked down. Austin Bryant with the flag is down. And Bryant will see the goal pretty quickly. Alex Campo, the right guard at Tampa Bay, yelling at the official. He's saying Bryant was offside. Defense number 94, five-yard penalty, first down. Another penalty on Bryant, and that gives a first and ten to the Bucks. 10-0-2 to go fourth quarter. Tampa Bay looking at its third straight win since the bye. And they will have Atlanta at home on January the 3rd to wrap up their schedule. They could be looking at 11 wins on the campaign. Well on their way to the tank today. And cements a playoff spot. Gabbard, play fake. Loading up on first to 10. Deep shot near left to Evans. And fighting down the sidelines. And drops long and complete flag out. Very aggressive defense of the near left sideline. As the ball sailed past it just beyond the 30. That was Tremaine Brock battling it. They picked on him a lot today. Interference. Defense number 31. Ball be placed spot and foul. Automatic. First down. And Tremaine Brock has had a really good career at other stops, but was just called up for the practice squad today. Yeah, 11 years. He's not familiar with this system. Certainly, they're challenging him against what, one of the best receivers in the National uh, Football League. Just That's a physical receiver. And that's all Brock's trying to do is make it an even fight. Just a little bit too much, too much uh, antsy there in the one-on-one -on -one covers to the outside. 6'5", 231 against 6'188". Gabbard, quick hitter, Evans near left side, giving a one-on-one -on -one again against Tremaine Brock, who gets some help from a couple of teammates. They'll spill the VP Evans at 28, eight of four. Second and six, under 10 minutes, fourth quarter. 47-7, to seven, Tampa Bay on top of Detroit. Evans, see waiting, she's a little fatigued. Just had the long go route, then the short pass there. He said, yeah, I need a breather. Antonio Brown runs out the field. So Evans out. Targeted a dozen times, 10 catches, 181 yards, two touchdowns. He, he will play next week, believe it or not, because Bruce Series said he wants him to get that record. Ball the deep back gets fed on a toss right, tries to cut it upfield, and runs into a loud hit. 
that's popped and dropped at the 29. It's going to be a loss of about half a yard. What contact by Julian Okwara, who was just activated from the reserve injured list on Tuesday and been on there since late October. Yeah, and now Evans coming back on. You still got nine minutes left. They may go for the record in this game with, with Evans. Maybe that way they can sit him all next week. So he will continue to be targeted with that matchup that you brought up earlier on Brock. Third down and seven with the ball to Trips 29. Snap far right hash. Trips here right, single back, uh, trips here left, single back right. 35 clock rolls for the quarter. Cameron out of the gun. Quick drop. Fox steps up. Throws it across the middle to McCoy. Cuts back right, but doesn't do it to buy. Stays with him. Bends low and tackles him at the 24. Gain of five. It's fourth and two. And it looks like Ryan Suckup will jog out. We saw him jogging on the sideline a few minutes ago. You know, whether they elected not to kick that field goal, because if they missed it, it does. The Lions would have gotten whatever seven more yards and better field position, but I don't think you're worried with what Detroit has done offensively, but here they like to take the points here. Well, this will be a 42-yard try right to left from Sucka. 25 and 27 on field goals. He has missed a couple of extra points today. Snap near left hash. The hold by Bradley Kimmy in the punt. Snap clean spot through the right foot and kick is in the air. Tumbling. And over end, and it's no good wide left. So Suckup misses from 42 yards out. He's missed two extra points and a field goal, and it remains a 47-7 game. Fourth quarter, Bucks all over the Lions. You're missing, you're listening to the NFL on Westwood One. Haircut, shirt tucked, bring the five-star jeans on. Let's make the most of tonight. Wherever you are, you can feel comfortable enough to step out of your comfort zone in the premium quality and style of Wrangler five-star jeans. Shop Wrangler.com. To celebrate State Farm's surprisingly great rates, we give this game day jam surprisingly great rates. I want a great Sponsored by Hulu Plus Live TV. Tonight, 7.45 p.m. Eastern, it's the Dolphins and the Raiders. Then tomorrow night, the Packers host the Titans. And Monday night, the Bills are at the Patriots. Football season is in full swing, and you can watch it on Hulu Plus Live TV. Start your free trial today, so you can watch the biggest games and the can't-miss moments. Live TV plan required. Restrictions apply. Learn more at Hulu. Com. Tampa Bay knew it was entering a weighted in game against the Lions team in a great state of flux. They also knew they had sluggish starts in six straight games. But they hung 34 on the board by halftime. They're up 47 to 7 here with 7.40 to go in the fourth quarter. Lions have their third quarterback in, David, David Blau, single back left, called for tight end motion. First and 10 at the Lions 32. Play big. Blau, pump, pump, throws. Dangerous look, crossing. Over the middle, and a catch with contact, Mohamed Sanu. He takes a fierce lick north of the 50, all the way back at the Tampa Bay 48-yard line. First down, contact from Jordan Whitehead. And they're going up-tempo. The plate almost didn't time out, but great throw by Blau. And obviously for Sanu, who hauled in on the end cut, a little up-tempo here. And whistles and a flag on the snap, just as Blau receded in the pocket. Ball start, offense, number 68. Five-yard penalty. First down. 
Taylor Decker, left tackle. He's had a tough day. He's a veteran player. Now, when you look at it, uh, you know, Ohio State highly drafted. And, yeah, it's been a problem. Again, you're changing quarterbacks. You've got cadence issues. And obviously, it's been a problem for Detroit. Like other things they've dealt with today. And also with flux and center. Bragg now out today with a fractured throat. The snap loud, looks over the middle, finds his back, and Swift did a great job of tackling in space. Lavante David, he attaches his hands to the lower half of Swift and does not yield, rips him down to the 49 in Detroit territory, loss of three. Second down to 13, shotgun single back right, 47 17 today. Safety's playing super deep. Blau, Bates back in the pocket, steps up. He's going to tuck and run. Sprints to the 50, the 45, the 40, the 35, breaks into a slide. And he's down at around the 33. You talked about his athletics. Yeah, I mean, for him at Purdue, this is what he was good at. They ran a lot of quarterback draws and things like that. That play ends up basically being a quarterback draw. It's too bad coverage by Tampa Bay. So you step up and run. He reads it once his right tackle by tight collapse. Steps up and gets a positive play. 18 yards, shotgun snap, running tempo. Floats it out near right to Swift. Good read on a block cut left and a flag out as he gets popped by a block. It'll be 27, game six. Let's see how the laundry holds up. He's trying to follow Evan Brown out in space to the near right. Detroit's got to be careful here. Jonah Jackson, I mean, again, they, I understand that those Lions players are very frustrated on the season and frustrated by the day, but Jonah Jackson. foul. Big a blindside block on the offense. 15 yard penalty. First down. It's Jonah Jackson with the blindside. And, you know, these are things you just can't do. Uh, as a football team, and they get up, they're starting to jaw back and forth. And, and I understand it's a completely frustrating, but you just got to go out and execute. You do your job and, and compete and do it the right way. It's going to be first down and 25. The ball backed up two yards shy of midfield with the Bucks 48. Empty. Three wide left. Wow out of the gun. Near right hash. Takes the snap, drops back, looks over the middle. He finds Quintus Cephas. Makes the first man miss of the second. He pops him on the left hand. A hard hammer brought there by Ross Cockrell. He's down to the 39 yard line, so he had nine with the second and 16. Yeah, I really like this Quintus Cephas. I think he's going to be a really good receiver out of Wisconsin. He's a young draft pick, over six foot, 210 pounds. For a big guy, he's got some scoops as well. Pretty nifty with the quickness there. To get some positive yards. Shotgun snap on second and 16. Wow, check it down. Tries to pass over the middle. Knocked down. Incomplete. The pocket was starting to collapse in on it from all angles. Third and 16. 47 to 7. Buccaneers, Lions on the drive. 525 in the fourth. They're going to bring on Kerry on Johnson here. He's been little used in the backfield today. I think I saw him for one or two snaps. Yeah, he only had seven snaps last week. They've been now that Swift's back in there. Swift has been the majority of the guy. Peterson, you'll never see Adrian Peterson the rest of this game. There's no reason to play him. So play the younger players that we talked about earlier, like Kerry on Johnson. He's done some positive things in the younger. Unfortunately, the injury this hurt him as well. Blitz is on, dump off, goes to Johnson, makes the catch left flat of the 40, loops it outside left circle in 35, and he gets chipped out of bounds by the Bucks at the 32, gain of 7, helped out of bounds by Kevin Minter, fourth down at 9 as we approach 5 minutes in the 40. No go for it, I mean, nice uh, screen call right there, gets the blocking of the field that he needs to get what he can get before getting out of bounds. So Quintus Cephas checks back in, Mohamed Sanu jogs off. Let Jamal Agnew go wide to the left. Shotgun single back left. Agnew motions to the near side. Takes the TV with it. Under five minutes. On fourth and nine. Wow. Sidesteps one hit. Somehow keeps his footing. It needs a second hit. Now a third. He throws under throw and intercepted. Bodies down all around. Looking for Hawkinson. They're going to rule it incomplete. As it was jumped in and contacted by Jordan Whitehead. And Whitehead had the ball 
in his bread basket and it slipped through his hands and bounced off his knee out of the turf. Yeah, that's the typical you don't want to be late over the middle because it allows uh, Whitehead to break on the football. Granted, the protection broke down and you're rolling to your left and now you're trying to throw across your body back over the middle of the field. Hawkinson was there, but if anything, put it up where Hawkinson can go and get it where the mismatch is on Jordan Whitehead. Very lucky not a turnover there. Buck offense back to the field. Tom Brady more coached the player at this point. He's been watching all half. Whitehead could have taken that to dis the distance. He had the breakout. Gabbard under center. Receiver motion to Johnson to the slot right. Hand off. And he's on board. Rumbles in the heavy contact from the Lions and Tremaine Rock. Gets uh, about a yard to around the 33 second in Valley. Tap into the NFL app. For free live local and primetime games, breaking news, highlights, and more, download today in your app store or visit nfl.com slash apps. Data charges may apply. 47 to 7 Buccaneers. 4 minutes, 14 seconds. Clock rolls, fourth quarter. Bucks and two timeouts. Lions the same. Tampa Bay second and nine at its own 33, right to left. Gabbard the backup, getting a long look here in the second under center. And he hands it off, gone. And a run off center and left guard goes into the clutches of a waiting lion at 36. Gets three. Reggie Ragland earns the tackle. And it'll be third down and six. So this Lions team that has Minnesota calling. That will be a one o'clock Eastern kick. A week from tomorrow. Well, Tampa Bay, of course, has Atlanta. That will be down in Tampa. Buccaneers playoff bound is the formality of the time and the score. Going into the backfield. Tampa Bay three minutes of change away from clinching the playoff for Gavin tries to throw, loads up, and it's knocked out of his hands. As he tried to toss it, that was pressure of the backfield from Romeo Ogura. And Ogura slapped that ball down just as he loaded up and started to fling it forward. He looked like he was shot out of the can and really had a jump on, on the snap. Beats the, the left tackle pretty handily. Yeah, he had a great play last week in the Tennessee game. He had a safety where he basically hurdled the left tackle to get to the quarterback. Caused the safety having a career year. He's got a career high on sacks this season. Came into the ball game with eight and made his presence known there. So that ball knocked free for a fumble, but recovered by Gabbard immediately right at his feet. A punt unit in. Bradley Pinion sends a punt right to left. Lead snap right foot a kick who's in the air. Angle to the near left. Agnew inches up, waiting for it. Brings it in 25. Gets hit by a couple of bucks. A grace in the rear and hammered on front at around the 30. That's where the next possession will begin for the Lions with the warning and two timeouts. Monday night, an AFC East matchup with the 11-3 Buffalo Bills travel to Foxborough to take on the New England Patriots. Join Tom McCarthy and Ross Tucker at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time for all the action. Find down to westwood1sports.com for more details. If it's Monday night football, it's on Westwood 1. Our first and 10. Lions from their 30, 47-7 Tampa Bay. Buccaneers rewrote their own record books in many ways today. Tom Brady tied Brett Favre's record for most games starting in the regular season ever at 298. Played his 300th game overall, just the third non-kicker to do so, joining the Hall of Famers in Favre and Jerry Rice. And they had their best first half ever. Points, yeah. passing yards, and total yards. Really, has been impressive. And I, I, yeah, I just think what he stands for. I mean, it just raises the level, the standard of the, everything in the building for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I think he's looked up to it. They played some of their best football last week and today. And we'll see if they can continue to do it forward. As wow, as throws near side. Under throw. Herb Miller was able to jump it. And now a scrum as the players are shoving one another and going at it. Yeah. Combination of three bucks and five lions with a lot of hand fighting, helmets and face masks on, and large swings taken with extended palms pressed into the faces of the opponents. And Herb Miller gets the pick, who was just called up from the practice squad yesterday as a contagious disease elevation in these days of COVID. And they're still trying to separate these teams. You could see it coming. The frustration level was rising the entire game with the Lions players. Hopefully they can separate these groups. Down a little bit. 
Pass intended for the tight end Jesse James. Miller read it beautifully. And just one special teams tackle and limited duty on the year, mostly on the practice squad. That's another turnover. Lions have turned it over twice today. And now minus seven on the year. The officials are going to have to try to clean up all the extracurriculars here. I, I don't know if it benefits to eject anybody, but it looks like there were some points. The ball was intercepted. After the interception, personal foul. Unnecessary roughness on Tampa Bay, number 92. That 15-yard penalty will be enforced from the dead ball spot. First down. So the personal foul call there is the luck still talking up on the sidelines and William Colston. Colston tried to get the path of Jason Pierre Paul, who's really going at it there with Jonah Jackson. Ugly uh, last few minutes here in several regards. Yeah, you got to keep your composure. I mean, from what I saw, they, they could have ejected a couple players if they wanted to. There's two minutes left in the game. At least they got everybody calmed down, and, and hopefully there'll be no more skirmishes throughout the rest of this contest. And so the ball picked off at the Tampa Bay 46. The penalty is going to move it to the Detroit, excuse me, the Tampa Bay 40 yard line. The Bucks facing. First down and 10 there. And the handoff goes to Wong with a lot of space outside right. Did a good job of pursuit as he gets hit on the left hip and dropped down. Reeves Maven takes him out after a few. They're going to spot him at the 44. It'll be second and six, and we have reached the two-minute warning. Your score, Tampa Bay 47, Detroit 7. You're listening to the NFL on the Westwood One. Get professional tools this holiday season from the professional parts people at O'Reilly Auto Parts. We have hand tools and gift sets starting at just $7.90. Edges, socket sets, and more, all with a lifetime guarantee. Or make your holiday giving even easier with gift cards from O'Reilly Auto Parts. Stop by or visit O'ReillyAuto.com. Oh, 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 Auto Parts. With no fees or minimums on checking and savings accounts, banking with Capital One is like the easiest decision in the history of decisions. Kind of like choosing Charles Barkley in a pickup game. We'll take Barkley. Ha! First pick! Sorry, kids! Yep, even easier than that. And with our top-rated app, you can bank anytime, anywhere, making Capital One an even easier decision. Okay, here's the plan. Pass me the ball every time. This is banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? New consumer accounts only. Approval required. Terms apply. Capital One and name member FDIC. Some gifts don't come wrapped in packages with bows and ribbons. They aren't hidden away, then torn into with reckless abandon. Some gifts are needs, like food or shelter, and those can be the most precious of all. In a year with fewer red kettles, help rescue Christmas for those facing poverty with a $25 monthly donation. Enlist in Love's Army at GiveWestwood.org. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is Westwood One, your home for the National Football League. Get the Sirius XM Blitz with Hall of Fame quarterback Brett Favre on the Sirius XM app. Just search Favre. The copyright of today's broadcast on Westwood One is owned by the NFL. On behalf of its member clubs, all rights to this broadcast are reserved, and any rebroadcast, recording, retransmission, or any other use of this broadcast without the express written permission of the National Football League is strictly prohibited. A well, small brouhaha uh, between the Bucks and the Lions as frustrations boiled in the late stage of this game. Just past the warning, two minutes clean to go here in the fourth, 47-7 Tampa Bay, facing second and six, Bucks at their own 44 right to left in a nearly empty Ford field. Back of quarterback Lane Gabbard, from under center, gets the handoff, and pressure arrives in the backfield, surrounding, and lassoing down Vaughn, and as Tracy Walker leads the charge, and they loop him down to the 40 for loss of 4-30-10. 
run the blitz more than what I thought today for the Lions. And there's a reason why, but Walker has been really the, the blitz are quite a bit able to split, get in the backfield for the tackle for the loss. He is their second leading tackler on the year. They played today without their top tackler on the season. Jamie Collins was out with a neck injury, had a questionable. There goes shotgun, five wide, trips far right. 117 clock goals, two timeouts for each team. Quick hitter to the far right, caught at the 40, but a couple of blocks on the screen. And Tony Brown cuts up field and riding top of the main of the Lion logo gets dropped right at midfield. That's good for the first down. Tackle by Christian Jones, gave it 10. Nice wide receiver screen, gets north and south for Antonio Brown. So, past couple weeks, he's made some, some big plays where he showed his explosiveness. He showed him right there. And it looks like that'll just about do it as Brown gets his fourth grab, 35 yards. Tampa Bay in no rush. 40 seconds, clock rolls, 47 7 Tampa Bay. But Tom Brady was just outright spectacular as they take a knee here and they'll let the final 30 plus seconds fade away. Head coach Bruce Arians called it a hat in a t shirt game. Bottom line, it's weighed it in and the Bucs get it done on the road at Detroit. Tom Brady and the Buccaneers clinch a playoff bird. For the first time since the 2007 season, the NFL's second longest active playoff drought comes to a close in a resounding fashion as Brady and the Bucks bounce the Lions in Motown 47 7 in a blowout. Yeah, really impressive for them. They pretty much checked every box. They're coming in, they wanted to start fast. They did that. They played solid defense. Unfortunate they had to be without Matthew Stafford at the quarterback, and then they really could work on some things against some young players in there. They're starting to peak at the right time as they approach the playoffs. When it's going to be a tough NFC side. I talked earlier about one team I couldn't forget on the NFC side. Seattle's starting to peak at the right time, in my opinion, as well. So it's going to be interesting how it all shakes out. And so the Bucks are playoff bound. They are 10 and 5. The Lions lose their fifth and six games. They are 5 and 10. The final score, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 47, the Detroit Lions 7. When we return, Jason Horowitz rejoins us with the postgame report. You're listening to the NFL on Westwood One. Football season is in full swing. Wives? I am right here for 400 yards last weekend, right? I just can see. You want to hear about it. She's in play. It's channel 206. And we can... And the question is, you know... I, I what? Memphis feed Sirius 207. Internet 894, Hawks feed on the net. Hey. Hey. Looks like the, um, Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers won.
All right, I'm going to end there. I hope you're doing well. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.